Okay, so to apply the color, I'm using this foam applicator from Club Scrap, and I'm using a Stampin' Up! More Mustard dye ink. You can really use any sort of ink. I've used um, palette ink, pigment ink, distress ink. Um, anything that you like really works well. If you are using pigment ink on the um, tape, you'll want to make sure that you wipe it off as you go to the next square because it probably won't dry very nicely on the masking tape. And I do occasionally wipe the ink off to make sure that I'm not kind of dragging it on to another area of the project. To start, I just pull up some ink on there, and since I know I want my corner to be the darkest, I'll start there, and I can see that it's nice and dark, and that's good. And I just sort of pull it in from the edges, kind of moving down and across, because I want it to get lighter as I go across. As I kind of get to the point where I want it lighter, I sort of start doing some more sweeping motions and pulling more broadly because I don't have as much color on my sponge now, so it'll nicely fade kind of to white in the center there. And I like that because it gives some depth. Here I'm actually pulling some of the ink from the masking tape onto the paper. Um, because I know I want that ink color there and I don't want it to be on my hands or my pro project somewhere else. It's sort of just as easy. And I might want a little bit more here to make a little more defined edge, so I'll just pick up a little bit more and just kind of make some nice short things to start with and then again kind of pulling and sweeping just a little more. Uh, so you can see I just keep doing that to all the squares and when I'm done I'll have a nice background to apply all my other images to later. Okay, so now you can see I've applied color to all the squares here, and it looks a little imperfect at this point, but that's okay because we're going to do um, some more adding of color and stamps and stencils in the next couple of steps, and we're going to end up with something that looks really beautiful. Um, I'm going to start by using this uh, stencil from Club Scrap. It's got these dandelion images, which I think are really perfect with the gold and green color scheme I'm going with here. I'm going to start with this one. And in order to start with this one in the center square, I'm going to want to make sure I don't kind of go into any of the other squares around it. So I'm just going to lay some scrap pieces of paper on the top and bottom there, and that will help protect my work surface. So I'm going to use this stencil. I'm going to use my ink applicators that I used before. I'm going to use this Club Scrap Leaf Hybrid ink for the green parts and this more mustard from Stampin' Up! for my gold parts. I'm going to start with the gold parts on the top here first. And since I want this to be a little darker and sort of tone on tone here, I'm going to really pull some more color onto here, holding my stencil as kind of firmly as I can with uh, one hand. You can see that's quite a bit darker even without removing the stencil and the other gold underneath it because I'm applying a more pressure and a little more ink. I'm going to switch to my green color now, pull some of that up. And you might be thinking these look really dirty and, and they sort of are, but if you rub them off on some white paper, um, or any paper really, you'll clean off the color and uh, it really doesn't transfer to the next project. You can clean them with soap and water if you're concerned about that, but I really haven't seen you have a problem. I'm just going to kind of fade those into each other so they look nice. And when I take the stencil off, we'll see I have that really cool image on top of there. So any sort of the imperfections in my background are going to sort of disappear as I start to add these stenciled and stamped images. So I'm going to just take some of my stencils and stamps and play and have fun and uh, put a different image or stencil in each one of these using kind of a tone-on-tone -tone technique. Uh, I'll occasionally use, for this particular project, a little bit of darker ink. This garden green, for example, uh, is a little bit darker than this uh, leaf green here. And for some cases, I'll want a little more contrast. I'll use that ink. Okay, so we'll see here now that I have put either a stamped image or a stenciled image into each square. Um, and what I've started doing already is putting some quotes and different things in black ink uh, to sort of act as just another uh, layer of um, emphasis on this particular um, design. 
So I'm going to um, put one in the center here. This is using um, Club Scrap India ink and some of the unmounted stamps that I have. And I like this particular thing to go with this leaf here. I'm just going to kind of center it up, press it down, and there we go. Um, what I like about this India ink, that's not the best impression that I've gotten, so I may um, actually not use that particular one. But it is quite black, as you can see here, so it really um, stands out. So, for example, I'm going to use this butterfly. Um, I'm, I'm going to use that over... Where should I use that? I'll use the butterfly over here. I'm a little concerned about putting the butterfly somewhere where it looks like it's either too big or too small with comparison to other things, but on um, this is just a generic image. And there we see how nice and um, black that is there.